Good afternoon, folks. I uh, was online. I was over at Mines. I like Mines because it's not Facebook. Fuck Zuckerberg at Facebook. And there was a story that came up about a fellow named Jason Volkovic. Jason Volkovic is known as the Alaskan Avenger. And what he did was he used the sex offender ed registry to track down and beat up pedophiles. And he's been sentenced to 23 years in prison. I'm an avenging angel. I'm going to mete out justice for the people you hurt, Jason Vukovic said to one of the pedophiles before beating him with his hammer. I'm going to let that one go. There's a play on words there, but I'm not going to go there. At the two-day hearing that started on Friday, Vukovic's lawyer, Ember Tilton, argued for a more merciful sentence for his client who attacked three men in 2016. Jason said in court that he was physically and sexually abused by his stepfather while growing up, which contributed to his anger towards sex offenders, but now he takes full responsibility for his actions. In one of the cases, Vukovic went to the house of 67-year-old Wesley Hayes Demarest and beat him so badly with his hammer that his skull fractured. This guy killed no one, mind you. Vukovic, who attacked three registered sex offenders in Alaska, called himself an avenging angel seeking justice and was set in a 23 sentence to 23 years in prison on Monday for assault and robbery charges. But Patrick Day, the prosecutor, argued that this was not an excuse for what Vukovic had done and to target and attack three strangers even beating one of his victims so badly that he fractured the skull and knocked him unconscious. People do not get to take the laws into their own hands just because they don't like a particular group of people or a particular person, Assistant District Attorney Patrick McKay told the judge. And that's where we're going to stop with this. What the guy did was wrong. It is. It is just wrong. But not for the reasons you're thinking. I've gone over this in previous videos, but we'll go over it again because it's something that needs to be reiterated and reset because we're in an election year and people don't fucking pay attention. Pay attention, please. It costs you nothing. The word pay is just there to throw you off. Now, because I'm a smart ass, and because I, I really don't have a great love for the pedophiles, my comment was jury nullification anyway. If you don't know what jury nullification means, and this is why you should always go to jury duty. <laughs> suck it the fuck up not going to jury duty has left us in this position you know why because the only people that show up for jury duty shouldn't be allowed to judge anyone gassy today Honestly, if the intelligent people don't show up for jury duty, then the only people who show up for jury duty are the people who aren't smart enough to get out of jury duty. So what happens when it's your ass? And that brings us around to the point. But we're going to go tangential again because the gentleman made a very clear statement that's pertinent. So Legion of Reason, I don't know who he is, I don't know if I'm sub to him, I don't believe so, and I don't think he's sub to me, it doesn't really fucking matter. As adorably heartwarming as this story is, not everyone on the sex offender registry is a pedophile. This is true. 
My cousin was on it because he got caught at 17 having sex with his 16-year-old girlfriend who is now his wife of almost 15 years. And as part of his plea deal to avoid statutory rape charges, he agreed to be put on the offenders list for 10 years with a suspended sentence. But wait, there's more. Was he worthy of being beaten to death? Because his now wife's parents were insane control freaks that wanted their daughter's boyfriend to get the chair for dating their daughter. Was he evil because he had the political connections to force the issue? I would assume he's talking about his, the guy's father. -in -law. Vigilante justice that relies on gross neglect of government record keeping as a recipe for disaster. Wrong. Did this guy do wrong in this particular instance? Not that I have been able to find out. Is this the sort of thing that anybody else should do? No, certainly not. Correct. There are real child predators in the world, and they should be shot in the courtroom when it is clear what they did. They shouldn't be put on a list and lumped in with teen sescapades to be hunted down by vengeful abuse victims later. And that is why we're doing this video. The guy's 99.9% .9 right. He is. It's the truth. There's nothing he said there that's really wrong except one thing. I give you an example. We were at a beer festival a couple of years back, okay? And there were not nearly enough bathrooms. And so, if you were caught micturating, i.e. urinating, on a tree or anything, the cops would come over and bust you. And I swear to God, one of them said, you're lucky I'm not locking you up for being a sex offender. Because the guy took a leak on a fucking tree in a park surrounded by adults. Sex offender list. See where this is going? You have heard me rail on this before. You know this is... While I have a friend who won't pick a hill, I have picked so many fucking hills, I am spread thin. But this is a big one, and you folks need to pay attention. We live in an age where you are distracted on purpose. It will literally throw so much shit on you, you can't possibly process it all. It's a fucking wonderful plan. And it works like a charm. The sex offender list sounds like a really good thing. And it's for the children. That's how they sell you these bullshit fucking laws. Of course, these are dreamed up by career politicians who do not wish to lose their positions because it comes with a, a nice paycheck. Um, sizable donations every year from people who need to have legislature put through and power. Unfortunately, we live in an age where the people who are exerting the power over the people they are supposed to represent do not represent us and wield the power with no velvet glove, just straight iron fist and no lube, okay? While the sex offender registry sounds like a good idea, and it really should be, the people on the sex offender registry should be convicted rapists and convicted pedophiles. The 17-year-old banging the 16-year-old goes on the sex offender list for 10 years as part of a plea bargain because the court system is overloaded with all the extra extemporaneous bullshit fucking laws that have been rammed down our throats by lazy fucking politicians. They promise the moon and they deliver nothing. Right? You following me here? I've done this for drunk driving. Why do we have drunk driving laws? Do we need them? 
No, but they sound good to the Karens. The Karens love this shit. Now we got laws for drunk driving. Okay, but... We already had laws for drunk and disorderly, which is bullshit too. We had laws for operating a vehicle in an unsafe manner. Take it for what it's worth, that's a loophole kind of thing. We already have statutes out there for property damage. Okay, so you're drunk and you ran over the guy's fence. Well, you need to fix his fucking fence and pay a fine. We have laws for vehicular manslaughter and vehicular homicide. Both of them. Drunk driving law. You know what drunk driving law is? Drunk driving law is taxation. That's all it is. All of these cover everything in here. But this one, this is my feelings. This one sounds like it's important. The only one out there? No. This is a perfect example. A 17 year old is now being charged as an adult for having sex with his 16 year old girlfriend. It was consensual. The fact that the government feels that they can mandate at what age you can have consensual sex slippery kind of slope. Now, in California, where they say a 16-year-old can bang a 6-year-old as long as the 6-year-old consents, 6-year-olds cannot consent. But a 16-year-old can petition to be an emancipated person. And what that means is the 16-year-old goes up to the court and says, my mom's a drunk. I have no idea who my dad is. There's fucking revolving door uncles coming in and out of our trailer all the time. I've graduated high school. I am ready to get the fuck out and go out on my own. I will own my own life. I will earn my own money. I just do not wish to be tied to that fucking anchor anymore. And the court looks at them and decides whether or not this is true. And you become emancipated. You know who got emancipated? Drew Barrymore. And you know why Drew Barrymore got emancipated? Because her mom and her dad are fucking wackadoodles, allegedly. I think Drew got emancipated at 13. Don't quote me. I'm too lazy to bother to look. But she was emancipated as a minor, so she was an emancipated minor. And the kid already had money. She was the fucking little girl in E.T. She made fucking banks. She did E.T. She did Cujo. She did movie after Firestarter. Movie after movie after movie. The kid had fucking bank. She got emancipated. And then they made her a ward of... Whoever the hell takes care of them. I forget what the hell they're called. Doesn't matter. Because we're off track again. We have a sex offender list that is nothing more than taxation at gunpoint, okay? And this is because we have devolved into the more laws you have, the safer you are. People buy into that bullshit. Tacticus was a Roman emperor way back in the day. Said, the more numerous the laws, the more corrupt the state. It's 100% correct, as you are seeing now. People are lazy. They don't want to take responsibility for their actions. People are distracted. They've got too much on their plate. There's too much shit going on in the world. They don't know what the fuck to do. So they say, it sounds good. And this is where you wind up. So. This fellow, Mr. Vukovic... Got 23 years for assault and robbery. Didn't actually kill anybody, you know. He beat people with a hammer. He fractured a guy's skull wide open. Okay. Well, the guy was on the sex offender list. Did he deserve to be? 
And if he deserved to be on the sex offender list because the guy was a pedophile and molested children, why is he out in the general population? We know that pedophiles are irredeemable. There is no redemption for them. They will always be this way. You cannot rehab a pedo. It doesn't fucking happen. And that's not me. That's the American Psychiatric Association that says that. It drives me insane, folks. It, it drives me absolutely batshit. And yet, I hear again and again. And I did a rant a couple of weeks ago. A friend of mine, well, um, I'm just not going to vote. <laughs> Told you it was gassy, excuse me. I'm just not going to vote because Trump's a bad guy. Why is Trump a bad guy? Well, he's a womanizer. I literally turned to the guy who I've known for 30 years and is one of my closest friends and I said, what the fuck were we? When did womanizer become a bad thing? See? Distracted. Not paying attention. Listening to the Karens. Listening to the bullshit. Making bad choices. That rant was specifically because he said, I'm not going to vote because I don't want to do jury duty. Why the fuck do you not want to do jury duty? Which he's not going to do because he's 66. He has a metric ass ton of comorbidities. They, they, he doesn't ever have to sit on a jury if he doesn't want to. But he's got nothing fucking better to do. You know, we, we've got that stigma. Oh, it's horrible. It's boring. And it says, my old man loved jury duty love jury duty. He couldn't get cold enough. The flip side is, my old man busted his ass with blue collar and his union, steel workers, had in their contract that if you got called for jury duty, you got paid your wage by the union. You turned in your $12 a day check, which is bullshit, by the way. It doesn't even cover lunch anymore. You turned in your $12 a day check and the union reimbursed you for your wages. That's actually fair, to a degree. I don't know if a private company should have to be forced to pay your daily, your daily wages because you had to serve jury duty, but the state really needs to look at what they're fucking paying for jury duty and say, fire somewhere. The other reason I've been shooting inside, no noise. So to get back where we're at, yes, you need to go on jury duty. I, I really don't care who you are. As long as you have an IQ above room temperature, it is important that you sit down and you look to see what this person is being charged. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And you look to see what this person is being charged with and whether or not what they're being charged with is fair or whether what they're being charged with is just a fucking railroad job because some politician wanted to get fucking reelected and so he scared the Karens into fucking voting for him. I used to think it was a libertarian. I'm not. I'm constitutional. It's a constitutional conservative. I believe the government needs to be shrunk. I believe all these people that grab that seat of power and don't want to let it go need to be ousted immediately. Unfortunately, that is what our system selects for. That's another rant I've done in the past. Go back and look for it. We select socio and psychopaths because they're the only ones that would go to the extremes that need to be gone to to ensure their position. Uh, we'll throw it out there for what it's worth, but think of the Clinton body count. You hear that one all the time. Whether or not it's true, don't know. Whether or not it fits the personality profile, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, you know, dude. She looks up 
every time she steps out of that house to make sure there isn't another house coming down to fucking land on her. And she never wears ruby slippers. Just saying. Anyway, folks, election season's coming up. So take the time to actually look at who you're voting for. See what you're voting for. Don't listen with half an ear to the promises they're going to make. And hold them to the promises they do fucking make. And then when those promises turn out to be shit, hold them fucking accountable. It's the least you can do for the rest of us. All right. For all the people who are serving time in fucking jail, and I live in Arizona, this is one of the worst states. Being busted with three seeds in an ashtray in the fucking 80s. Thanks for putting some eyeballs on here, folks. Catch you on the next one. Folks, have a good evening. Adios.